Aloha and welcome. We are looking for $2 million homes around the country, and this time, you guessed it, it's in Hawaii. So, um, there are a lot of great houses. Um, the deal is, is that, you know, Hawaii is the place to be, so the houses are intrinsically a little bit more expensive just for the location, location, location. And um, I didn't really pick anything um, by Honolulu because those houses were exceptionally expensive for what you got. And you're kind of just living in a city in a small little house. So um, here are some houses around the various other islands. Here we go. So this first one, for instance, this has 10 plus acres and it is located on uh, this island here. And I did find out uh, while looking into all this is that um, this island, uh, only this uh, island on the left doesn't have a target, but all the islands have a Walmart at least one Walmart and uh, all of them have a Costco so that was very interesting just in case so this one is great um, it's a great getaway and it has uh, several properties on it and like I said 10 acres and this is the main residence right here so it would be an opportunity to you know if you had a bunch of family and visitors and stuff it's not um, super close to the the, the water, but you can see it from a distance, so, you know, and the island on is not very big, uh, but it was just a nice example of something um, to have land and acres and the lush forest um, that, that you think of when you think of Hawaii. Uh, the next one up, uh, this one was more, so going from kind of secluded and private to this one was on the big island, um, to more of kind of in a city, um, setting that there, there's other this is a neighborhood and you have people around you but the house itself was more um, more upgraded so it's like you have less land but the inside is a little bit more fancy and it just had great views outstanding views uh, with the palm trees and I like the covered area where you can just sit and look out at everything and um, but as you can see it's in a neighborhood but so there's just different trade-offs um, for that so this one um, just came with all that and uh, I mean otherwise I mean nothing so that th those are the contrast between you know, you know privacy and then kind of in a city so this one was on this smaller island and this one does not have a target on it in case you're wondering but in looking at some of the other research it was um, it's less populated so and some people have a hard time with uh, going to this and you know you don't necessarily have neighbors around you but i really like this house because it's very open and the windows opened up and just the whole it's a very definition of an open floor plan it's got a at least a covered hot tub and so i thought that was fun is that th this i think is only only on like two to three acres uh we'll look in a second here but it just feels much more spacious and um so this is kind of a uh, on an island with fewer people, uh, not as much land to take care of, but still a very, very nice retreat. And again, not too far from the water. I think it has, uh, da, 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 da. oh, it's only 0.25. So even though, you know, it felt much more spacious than that. Uh, moving on, uh, this house is another one of our getaway houses. And this one I actually recently went down to under two million so this was higher and this is again on that same island uh, Hawaii more than any other place you would really have to go there and get the feel and the vibe of it this one I believe has six acres and um, and and so I think it also has yeah it has like accessory buildings and and it comes is this the one that has I think this one has like a hog fence or something. It was just great. It was just like, but all kinds of different kind of trees, and it, it was just a, a a nice, you know, just you could get away in the lush Hawaiian uh, jungle. Very nice. So, anyway, so that one was located again on this uh, far little island. Um, 
this one I liked because it also comes with the Airstream. It's like a 71 Airstream, but still. So th this one uh, was located on the Big Island, kind of north, which I don't think the flows go that way. So uh, that comes in handy later. But this one um, has like five plus acres and it comes with the air Airstream and an ocean view hot tub. Oh, this one has the hog wired. So this one's hog wired plus solar, which is really big because several of the properties, uh, something to look for is that they are, um, has a climbing wall too, um, have uh, solar and or their own water. Because obviously when you get this secluded, it's hard to get like city water and city electric. There's your hot tub, nothing fancy, but uh, a view up on the hill. Uh, move, you know. So this one was kind of weird, and it was um, very clean and 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 well designed, but tiny, only 1,164 uh, square feet. This was located on um, this kind of middle island right there. So it had a good view, except those trees are kind of in the way, and they go to great lengths to kind of work around that. But when you're like sitting there, like that's your view of the ocean. I'd almost knock out. I hate to cut down a tree, but in this case, I might cut down a tree. <laughs> but it is cool because you got um, so over here is kind of a, a rocky beach a little bit, but you have a waterfall here and a waterfall here. It's just kind of a picturesque setting. Um, to do that the house itself like I said is it's got a nice patio uh, the inside is uh, simple uh, but clean uh, nothing fancy uh, the only problem is people might say you know you paid how much for this but this one is definitely all about the location the location the location uh, moving on I like this one um, because you have right here this tiny little beach that you can go out on and you could launch kayaks and canoes and uh, you could do a little bit of swimming so you're close to that um, and it is located on the big island uh, so there's more you know more civilization on the big island so if that's something that you don't want to be totally secluded that would be kind of a nice thing to do um, I mean it's kind of almost got like a tiki interior it's got like a its own little hot tub which is fun uh, the view is not as great as some of the other ones, but uh, they, you know, so it's got kind of a little bit of a kitschy, but it's Hawaii, you know, you can't be totally buttoned up here. And it just has a nice view and the access to the beach. Uh, very calm, very pleasant. Yeah, and a waterfall. So moving on. So this one originally was um, number one, and then I got to looking at it, and it's over here on the east part of the island but if you look at the satellite of it you're like oh what's this Isaac Hale Park and actually it's changed since that because in 2018 there was a lava flow that kind of covered this whole area so you have this which is pro a former lava, lava flow and now one that kind of goes over here <laughs> so which like cut off the road um, but it made a black sand beach, which is just, you know, the lava. Once it hits the uh, ocean, eventually after getting pounded by the ocean, it makes a little sand, uh, which sounded interesting, but which is a shame because this house was um, kind of bigger and fancier. So you get the feeling it's on 17 acres and it has also a one bedroom guest house. So the setup is wonderful and you'd have great sunrises and the view from here is pretty spectacular, but it's not a sandy beach. It's all rocky beaches, so you probably wouldn't want to go up to these because if you got in the water, it would pound you into, which is a shame because it's so blue and beautiful. So it's kind of, um, I don't know if the long term and the possibility of a lava flow would uh, might cause a little bit of a problem. But the views are spectacular. and There's lots of room, and like I said, it has a bonus. A uh, little guest house. Yeah, there it is. Isn't that just, I mean, that alone is just cute. And I think it has its own water. And, you know, you just hang out here and see that view. So it is uh, really cool, but kind of comes at a risk. 
And this one is, the inside of it is kind of like what you'd expect from a renter, just very plain, the kind of the basics. But what it is is really cool. So this is located um, on this little island, which is the less populated island. But if we keep going in, the cool part is you are right across from a beach. And if that wasn't enough for you, there is this path here. This is what the green line is. And it's like a biking, walking path. And then you can just walk up along and go to another beach. And if you didn't like that beach, you can go up to this beach. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And uh, so that, I think, would just be great. And it's got lots of restaurants nearby. You could just walk um, to um, the store or whatever. And the way the house is set up, and you're just walking across to the beach, which is great. The way the house is set up is that the top floor is, is the fancier floor, so that's what you're looking at here, with everything just a little bit more upgraded, and um, you know your countertops and your appliances and everything a little bit more upgraded. And then the bottom floor is like a separate, almost a separate residence. It's got more of a kitchenette, but you could have guests and they could uh, have their own area, and you stay at the top and they stay down beneath. Like I said, it's plain, but then there's a sandy beach with beautiful water. Um, that would be just a great situation to walk out to every day. Uh, and th this, so this is like the other one, the kitchenette for the the downstairs and and everything. So it's small, but it's all also self-contained. So if you did have a big family event, you could have both ovens going or whatever. Um, that's or you know to store the extra food to have family. So it's not fancy, but I think between the instant beach access, because that was a big problem. Um, that was a big problem in Hawaii is that $2 million doesn't get you all that much, especially around Honolulu. So uh, to get beach access, it was uh, few and far between, or the houses look really run down. Uh, so it was, uh, I mean, what did they think? It's Idaho? Um, watch my video you'll see what I'm talking about <laughs> I get why Hawaiian homes cost two million dollars Idaho I do not understand anyway um take care thanks for watching and aloha